Hello, everyone. What we're going to do, we are going to talk about lyrics today. We've been working on a synth song. Uh, we started off with just some ideas, uh, some suggestions from whoever tuned in when we were doing this live. And then after the fact, we go back in and we edit it down on YouTube. And so we are just hoping uh, that you enjoy this uh, discussion today. Rather than write a whole bank of lyrics today, we're going to talk a little bit more about how to write lyrics or how we write lyrics. Um, you know, as, as we talk about with most of these videos is that there's, there's many different ways to do it. Just going to talk a little bit about how uh, we approach it. And th that approach is sometimes similar between different uh, artists. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is just kind of do a uh, a review of the song. So I'm going to go ahead and play that again. Uh, and I, I did neglect to mention that we have a special guest, actually part of our songwriting duo. Andrea is here today because she writes uh, a, a lot with me, uh, often writes the full lyrics for songs. We share that we both write lyrics. And so I think her insight is going to also be uh, really insightful. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me join you today, Eric. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So as I was saying, let's go ahead and listen to the song first. And uh, then we'll come back. So we have kind of a smooth pad coming in. Let me know if the music volumes are good and that kind of stuff. Now we have a thumpy part coming in. You notice I dropped the song back a little bit, so there'll be room for vocals here. Okay, if you can see on the screen, I've left a little mark up here for curve. And kind of a pre-chorus building up for the chorus. I like this little part. That's good because you've been singing over it. have a really distinct melody in mind for this uh, chorus. Possible lyric. So we'll be like, this, this is the part I see. Something like that. <laughs> and I sing this too. <laughs> And then kind of a hook area here. I had some harmonies here I just recently, and I, I don't know if I'll like it or not. Okay, so I have a loop on there. Turns out I have to be uh, in the in the uh, DAW to stop the music. All right, so um, so lyrics. You know, I'm kind of I've been singing this, but but you've not been in here while we've been writing it as a group. Um, and by writing as a group, I take a couple suggestions and pretty much do what I want. So, <laughs> but that's because we're, it's kind of a demonstration, maybe how we go through it. Uh, what I've learned in the series, uh, hopefully you guys have been learning stuff, but what I've learned is you really can't group write a song like within the 10 minutes that you go live on air. Because there's just too much to happen. Uh, and that goes the same for the vocals and the vocal melody and the lyrics, because we're going to have to write the lyrics offhand. But let's let's talk a little bit about lyrics. Now, often but not always, uh, for us, the way our workflow works is that I'll kind of come up with a melody, and then we'll work on some lyrics together. And you always come up with some great lyrics. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, well, there you go. So... This is kind of how I was envisioning this. Let's get, bring it back to the beginning of this loop. 
It's kind of what I was hearing. So I'll kind of like do data. Well, I wrote some lyrics, but these are not necessarily the lyrics, except for the chorus. I kind of like that, but I, I, I need your help to refine them. And so sometimes it, it just depends. Sometimes Andrea originates the song. Sometimes I do that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and listen to this. Yeah. Andrea wanted to make sure that she could be seen in the video, her fingers. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> she said to me, I, we're doing a video. There they are. Our, our, <laughs> Are, are any body parts going to show? And I said, that's an awkward question. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yes, let's just listen to this. Yeah, and it's cool, you know, because you don't have the introduction. So I'm going to move it back here. Um, it's like at the beginning. And I was thinking, it's going low at the beginning. I know you will. I know you'll find way to the light I know you will I know you'll shine away through the night no okay I don't remember how that part goes begin to falter this is the rhythm the world they say the world We'll find a way to fight you every single day. The strength you'll find will bring you farther to bring a victory to harbor. So obviously this. Harbor's a nice word. I thought it was kind of corny. But anyway, so <laughs> I, I talk about this song as kind of more like uh, uh, um, struggles. Struggles between light and dark. It's also, one, I want it to be, uh, I'm thinking, maybe about not giving up hope. So Don't give up hope, Eric. Um, I know you will. I know you right. Let's go ahead and turn on. So, so often... Um, when I come up with a melody, okay, we don't want only the melody. I'll play it in or something like that, just so I don't forget it. Because uh, I can guarantee I'll forget it if I go away from it and come back. I pretty much remember this part. Don't, I haven't quite learned it yet. Uh, and, and just because I played it in and made some co harmonies doesn't mean we necessarily have to stick to that because what you come up with uh, lyrics may not work within that confines or it just may be mm-hmm. awkward to sing sometimes. You know, yeah. plucking out a piano part or plucking out a, a key part, then singing it. You know, mm-hmm. our vocals uh, work, work a little bit different. So I've talked a lot. What are some of the ways that 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 you approach lyrics? Because this is similar to sometimes how we do a song. I'll be like, "Hey, I wrote this song." And you're like, "Oh my gosh, I, you're putting me on the air," and I have no idea. I barely heard the song. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, it's really kind of interesting because sometimes you might write a song around a certain theme. Like sometimes you got some music, and you're kind of like. Um, I'm feeling this, you know, kind of about like hope or struggle or ooh, the craziness that's going on right now in the world. And um, so that kind of inspires you to do lyrics. Other times you've already got like the music going and then we're like, hey, how about this? You know, like need a place is kind of weird because you sort of kind of came up with the music already. But I actually came up with the melody and I already kind of knew in my head what I wanted to say in that song. I mean, and yeah, so I mean, every song is a little bit different. But think about someone who's not perhaps used to writing lyrics. Mm-hmm. You know, what, let's say, what guidance would you give them or, uh, when starting? 
Well, I know one thing we like to do. We like to rhyme. Yeah, I like to rhyme. So there kind of some, a lot there, like poetic. That, that's that's interesting because uh, some some don't. Some mm-hmm. some uh, there is definitely a prose, mm-hmm. non rhyming prose that people use with songs. But for me, it's always been about rhyming. It definitely is something that's part of the craft for me. And one of the other things that I think we like to do, um, and it was well, not so much lyrics, but we try to make the the melody interesting. So that kind of has something to do with how you write lyrics as well. Yeah, I think the I think the melody needs to be something that catches someone's attention. Uh, it can't be too boring mm-hmm. for me. Uh, yeah. You know, one note all the way through. I want to say, you know, there's no rules, but like when I, I I think that one note all the way through can get boring unless the rhythm is good or the music around it works in some way to move the song forward. I like songs to build, but I think the a lot of the building has to mm-hmm. building of a song, uh, creating dynamics has to do probably with the music more than the words, right? Yeah. Uh, but I also think that songs need to be pointed where. Um, they're telling a story, right? Yeah. Uh, even if you're, so, I mean, there really are story songs. Not every story that you write as a as an artist has to be a story in that way. However, you're still telling a story. Even mm-hmm. if you're just expressing emotions, you're leading people from one place to another, or perhaps you're revealing so like a journey. You're revealing more as to why you feel the way you feel, mm-hmm. or why you're expressing, right? And this is why I talked a little bit about. Uh, I kind of envision this song that we're working on about struggles and light and dark. I kind of wanted to go with victory, but I felt like some of the words were a little weird. So um, again, I don't necessarily want to write lyrics during this session because I, I just mm-hmm. feel like I've got a lot of pressure. Lyrics is something I got to sit down and I could write an entire set of lyrics and come back the next day and say that's not gonna. I don't like that. That's gonna. Yeah. That's gonna. I don't want to start over. Or, or I like refine the lyrics. Yeah. That's a really weird word to sing. You know, like sometimes the vowel is weird. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I mean, so it may look good as a lyric, but it's hard to sing or, you know, something like that. Let's talk about phrasing. When writing lyrics, you know, you could just put whatever uh, lyrics you want, but sometimes word choice is really important, not just to rhyme, mm-hmm. not just to mean what you mean, but also just so it sounds good when you sing it. Mm-hmm. I know you will. The second word, no, right? It kind of holds on. And and if you say, I know, your focus is an O. Oh, I know you will. Let's say perturbed I am, okay? Mm-hmm. That's a word that you might want to pick because your long vowel would be turd. Perturbed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a turd. No, there you go. <laughs> Perturbed, it, uh, perturbed, you know, maybe you don't want to do that. I mean, maybe you want to find something that has a, has a, a nicer vowel that you're going to be holding on. You could use the word perturbed, but just very short and not like maybe one you hold out. Right. You might have to alter the um, the rhythm for mm-hmm. that. Maybe say it short. Mm-hmm. I know you perturbed you. I don't mm-hmm. know. I, I'm just making silly things up. But that's the idea. Away through the night. So on all those, away, I'm, again, I'm focusing on vowels and not consonants. Mm-hmm. Consonants uh, are hard to hold. Um, they're consonants. You know, they're, they're yeah. you're supposed to be short. Shine. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and sometimes that's just the way, you know, you're looking at the way you sing. You know, and if you're a country, you can, uh, American country, you can hold. Uh, love um, those my, my farm and my, you know, okay, anyway. <laughs> Which is totally legit if you're country. Yes. So, okay, let's talk about this song for a little bit. Not that we're going to write lyrics. So I, I'm thinking, you know. I know you will. I know you'll find a way to the light. I know you will. I know you'll shine a way through the night. And then there's that part that I'm not sure of. So let's, yeah. let's just take a look at it. Um, I'm really not sure of it either. Yeah, so I don't really know what I'm saying there. So this needs a, I don't know if I'm on track yet. I say I know you will twice. Um, that's great for repetition, but is it building to, into the song? I don't know yet. 
You mm-hmm. know, I know you'll find a way to the light. Uh, the only thing there that is is concrete. I've been really trying to get a little more concrete. Uh, you know, a way to the light has mm-hmm. has a lot more imagery, mental imagery to it than I know you will. Yes. Right. Uh, I know you'll shine. That that goes back to light. And finding a way through the night. But I also feel like those two phrases kind of repeat one another. And and maybe uh, a song is short. You don't necessarily mm-hmm. need to repeat the same thought over and over. Unless you're in the chorus. And the chorus mm-hmm. is in somewhat a refrain. Which means that you're uh, bringing home the overall thought for the song. And mm-hmm. uh, This part, I know you'll begin to falter. I'll show you the way through. Well, if we're really talking about not giving up and and finding victory in some kind of struggle or something like that, uh, that definitely would make sense. I know you begin to falter. It's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, and then... I know I'll show I'll show you. See, I didn't have enough words. The way, so that's not going to work. But it gets the I'll show you to make it through. I know you'll begin to fall. So repeat that show. That's kind of where I was going with that, if you understand. Yeah. There are some weird notes at the end. I think the way the music goes, it might conflict. Like, I don't necessarily want to do the same thing as the music. Uh, so we're going to be uh, exploring that. Also, it kind of goes into the chorus. I don't want it to be the same. So, um, so look, I am watching the, the feed here to make yeah. sure. <laughs> and I'm glad everybody's watching, too. We're going to edit this down to YouTube so it's a little bit cleaner. And I'm not repeating myself all the time. So, so that's where I am. Um, so, as we write, as we go into writing the song later, yeah, uh, I, I want to make some good movement at the beginning, and, and I want, I want some something concrete that people can hold on to. I'm still not feeling that way, but I like the way the chorus is. They say the world will find a way to fight you every single day, mm-hmm. but you know, life is hard. Yeah, I mean, we all know it, and uh, I've struggled. You've struggled. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in a way, the world is not for us. Mm-hmm. Um, and we need to find strength. I, I'm not sure I like the way it ends. The strength you find will bring you farther. And I hate this last line. <laughs> to bring your victory to harbor. Now, I like the idea of it. But that's weird to me. It's, it's not a, where it's I like want to go. It's like a big victory boat. <laughs> it's a victory <laughs> boat. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so... Um, Yeah, and the chorus is definitely, since it goes up, it kind of builds some dynamics to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Obviously, if we leave it in this key, there's no way I'm going to be able to sing it. (laughs) But I could do a harmony, you know, with you. They say the world will find a way. I think I wrote a lower part for me already. Yeah, I just keep jumping down. Okay, techniques like burrows. And I guess at this point, we'll go ahead and ask if there's uh, any questions. You can ask a question live right now, or uh, you can ask a question later on. Uh, When we get the YouTube up, you can ask a question there, and we'll monitor the comments there. And if you have a question, we'll do our best uh, to answer where we're coming from. Uh, let's, uh, Let's just mess around and go through the song one more time. Sound good? All the way from the beginning, because you kind of get the whole mood, right? Kind of, Tom. 
really been talking about writing lyrics. Well, we will see how this turns out. Um, this might be the next thing that we release, unless weird things always happen. Some you never know when inspiration is going to hit. If, if mm-hmm. I I remember mastering uh, a song, a cover, "The Sun on the Rainfall," and while I was messing around and well, I wasn't messing around. I was trying to adjust mix volumes on one sound and i was like oh hey what did i just do there i had to shut down my mixing right there go to another empty track and start writing a song and i did and that's how uh the song be with you was was written uh, because it uses the same bell sound that i use in our cover version of the sun and the rainfall Mm -hmm. so um that's uh that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Uh, all that to say that uh, this is one of the songs that we'd like to be releasing after the new year. Uh, we also have another song, World Falls Away. Uh, kind of a, a piano, kind of a piano string thing, acoustic, but then I just interject some electronic in there. But it really has this, it's a soft uh, piano acoustic feel, I think, still throughout it. So we're mastering that, but I, I don't want that to be our next one. I want it to be maybe after that. Um, and of course, as you guys know, we have Winter Song out yeah. right now. It's being played on the radio. Uh, it's a cover. Yeah. Uh, we've actually been trying to do it for a couple of years now. It's an acoustic. The original version is kind of this folksy acoustic version. Pretty. Uh, but we wanted I wanted to make it something that would be more our style and haven't been able to do that. And we, we I gave it a try again this year and we did it and then we're able to add vocals. The vocals are great. So uh, it's being played on radio now and will be released, what, December 3rd? 3rd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, we didn't have to write lyrics for that one since we're talking about <laughs> lyrics. There you go. <laughs> Um, but we just uh, still had to figure out how that vocal melody went um, or how we were going to interpret that and do it. Yes, definitely phrasing and things like that on, on right. there. Right, and harmonies. Because we, we do it a little differently. So Right, right, yeah. right. So we do appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, again, I'll edit this down and post it. And this will probably be the end of this series unless we just kind of do a final, this is how it turned out. Oh, and I, here I was going to wait for you to type it. Uh, and then Matthias uh, bringing dreams to safer harbors. Wow, that's kind of cool. That yeah. that that makes it all work better. You might just use that. You're not going to like need songwriting credit, are you, Tom? <laughs> and then uh, Matthias. Let's see. I think the harmony helps build it up at the end, since uh, the chorus. Yeah, it does definitely build up and then de- uh, deconstructs rhythmically a couple times. That's definitely true. It kind of goes up. It's a little bit of a repeat, but then it goes up to that peak at the end. Uh, Obviously, that's why I can't sing it's too high (laughs) for my range, unless we, of course, transpose, but there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Again, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you on the YouTube side. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye, guys. Bye.